Producers are autotrophs that capture energy from the sun to make organic molecules. There is an exception, though, and the exception are the chemosynthetic bacteria that can make organic molecules from chemicals in hydrothermal vents and don't require the sun's energy to do so. Consumers are heterotrophs and get energy from eating other foods. We can break consumers into more categories as well based on their diets. Herbivores, like grasshoppers, will eat only producers. An omnivore will eat producers and consumers, like a bird that eats seeds and insects. Carnivores eat other consumers, and decomposers will break down all dead organisms from every part of the food chain, which is why it's written on the side of this diagram. Detritivores are a specific type of decomposer, which feeds on detritus, which is fecal matter or decomposing organic matter. Each trophic level on this pyramid indicates the organism's position in a sequence of energy transfers. Producers are at the bottom because they support all the levels above. They get their energy from the sun, and that energy gets transferred to the organisms that consume them. We can follow the energy transfer by looking at a food chain, which is a single pathway of feeding relationships among organisms in an ecosystem that results in energy transfer. Arrows are used to show the direction of energy transfer, so it goes from the food into the mouth of the eater. Food chains are a great way to follow energy transfer, but in reality, a food chain is oversimplified. A food web consists of interrelated food chains, and it's a better representation of reality. You can see all the different organisms in an ecosystem or habitat and how they relate. The amount of energy that gets transferred from one level to the next is surprisingly small. Only about 10% of energy from the previous level is transferred to the next each time. Most of the energy is lost as heat or metabolic and digestive waste as the organism lives its life. Luckily, there are lots and lots of producers at the bottom level to supply the energy needs further up the pyramid. This does mean, however, that as you go up the pyramid, there will be fewer and fewer organisms that can be supported by the level below. That's why there are so few eagles compared to sparrows or grasshoppers in any given ecosystem. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.